On this episode of the Globe Sports Corner, student athletes explain their push to return for an extra year using the COVID-19 eligibility. We learn more about the men's volleyball team and their resiliency over the past three seasons as they move into 2024 on their third head coach since 2022. We'll take a look at the Globe Highlight of the Week, Everett Student Athlete of the Week, and sit down with bowling coach Scott Curtis to learn more about the future of GC's newest program. All that and more is coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome inside the Globe Studios on the campus of Goshen College. My name is Mike Morrell. You're watching the Globe Sports Corner. The past two weeks have been huge for Maple Leaf Athletics. From broken records on the track and field side to nail-biting finishes in women's basketball, we're in the middle of a strong crossover between winter sports wrapping up and spring sports just now hitting their stride, meaning there's something for every sports fan right now when it comes to GC athletics. And with so many sports in action, many seniors are playing their final minutes, participating in their final events, or are nearly ready to play in their final innings but some have chosen to stick around and use the extra year of eligibility granted to them by the COVID-19 pandemic. Alyssa McDonald has the report. In 2020, COVID-19 shut down sports and stole the seasons of thousands of athletes. The NCAA and the NAIA made a decision to grant an extra year of eligibility to those affected athletes. This year's seniors have a big decision to make. Take a fifth year or go ahead with graduation. This year's senior class is the last with extra eligibility as they were freshmen when they were granted an extra year to play the sport they love. And when I um, hear about it because Rusty, my coach, told me, he was like, yeah, you can come back. And I was like, yeah. That sounds good. So this is going to be then my freshman year. The decision is a difficult one as these athletes try to balance finances, their health, and their education. If I want to take graduate class, if I want to keep continuing doing school, if I want to move on with my career after that, how much do I want to keep playing? And it's also like the financial burden of school. and Mostly because of my future as, a, as an accountant. Um, I need 150 credits to be able to take the CPA exam. And also I am very optimistic about our season next year, about our team. Uh, the four plus one that the business department is offering, so you can get a master's degree. So I'm planning on getting that. If I'm not able to get it due to financial stuff, I might not come back. Whether they make the decision to return or not, one thing is certain, their love for their sport remains. The main thing would be how much you enjoy your sport because at the end of the last season, I really felt good playing. I felt good about the team, so I decided to come back and give it another shot. But at the end of the day, if you're not feeling happy playing, you probably shouldn't come and, and put yourself through a situation where you're not going to be enjoying yourself. You know, when it's time, it's time. And yeah, it's, it's time to move on with my career. I still love baseball, but you know, it's, you know, when it's time. Yeah. Reporting for Globe Sports, I'm Alyssa McDonald. Best of luck to the more than 50 athletes eligible for this extra year as they move forward. Whether they're taking that fifth season and remaining a Maple Leaf, or moving on into the world. Now it's time for us to move on and move inside the coach's corner to hear the latest on bowling at Goshen College and how head coach Scott Curtis sees the program continuing to grow. Do you dream of a place to belong, to begin your journey, and to believe in something bigger than yourself? A place where you aren't lost in the crowd, but are part of the team. Communication professionals are in high demand, and Goshen College will give you the tools and hands-on experience to transform your passions into a rewarding career. Begin your career in journalism and be an agent of change at the best college newspaper in the state of Indiana, The Record. Begin a filmmaking career with Five Core Media and work on Emmy-winning productions that propel graduates to Hollywood and beyond. And take our Semester in LA program to get a jump start in the industry. Begin your career as a public relations major one of the fastest growing professions in the country. Begin a rewarding broadcasting career on the air at 91.1 The Globe, the best college radio station in the nation. Be a DJ, host TV shows, and broadcast live sports. Believe in yourself and make it possible at Goshen College. Welcome inside Globe Studios on the campus of Goshen College. 
We're back now with head coach of Goshen College Bowling Programs, Scott Curtis. Scott, thanks for joining me in the studio today. How are you doing? Pretty good. I want to start right away with a bit of a timeline. We've known about this bowling program for almost a year now. Uh, when can we expect student athletes to actually start knocking down some pins? Um, they will be coming on campus fall of 24 in September, and our first competition is actually the end of September. Okay. You already have some recruits lined up for that? Or, I mean, what's the recruiting process like for getting um, student bowlers to campus? Well, I've been traveling all over the Midwest, um, all over Indiana, Michigan, and Ohio. And I've got uh, 12 guys right now, and I've got seven ladies, and I want to build off from that before September. Okay, so all over the Midwest. Uh, what about locally? Is there, what, what, how is recruiting from a local standpoint? Well, um, the, where we're situated in the state, uh, with all the um, Crossroads League schools that have bowling. Um, so locally, it's, it's known, um, but getting Goshen out there on, on the map. I do have um, a young lady from Goshen that has signed, and then I've also got a, uh, a kid out of Mishawaka that has signed. Okay. And um, so those are the two local kids that I've got signed. Um, and so that kind of piqued the interest within those conferences. What about on campus? Have any existing students expressed any kind of interest with joining the team? Um, I've had a couple uh, meet with me, and after I explain it, um, this isn't your Friday night recreational league type of competition. Um, they're like, kind of scares them a little bit, and I'm like, well, next season, just come out and give it a try. You know, you never know. That's great. Um, we first heard about the bowling teams coming into existence last April. Um, Tell me a little bit about, uh, since it's been organized, what, what, what's the process been like? What, where are we at now in the timeline of getting it together? What has it been like standing up a new program? Well, actually, um, when I was, was interviewed, um, they asked me a lot of questions um, with my knowledge of the sport. And I explained to them, I said, if you really want to go after this the correct way, whoever you hire, you need to give them an entire year to recruit. And that's what I've done since I started officially August 1st. I've been on the road all over, um, talking to several hundred kids <laughs> um, and talking to their parents, obviously. Um, so and some long hours, long days yes, on the road. Yes. Okay. From, from the top down, everybody's excited about this program. Um, and I pass that on to the kids that I'm talking to, that you have, you have the chance to be part of Team 1 at Goshen College. And a lot of kids can't say they've been part of team one of anything. Um, so it's a special privilege for them to come and be part of that. And um, just everybody's excited. Um, I explain bowling to a lot of different people on campus and all kinds of all the different departments. Um, I've been bowling with several of these people because they want to see what it's like at the bowling alley. <laughs> Do you beat these people in bowling? Are you, you I mean, are you, do they take you down when? Uh... Um, I've only had one, a couple of coaches beat me just kind of because I kind of let them. Okay. So, um, <laughs> but, uh, but no, it's just I've never been around in a uh, school that has, that's so excited about a program like this. Oh, yeah. You know, um, at my high school days, it was, okay, it's another sport, but here it's, they want to add it, and there's the excitement behind it. I, I, growing up, I mean, bowling was always a recreation for me, and now, I mean, it, it definitely has taken full steam. All, all the high schools around here seem to have bowling teams, so it, it's definitely taking off in that way. Now, I was looking at goleafs.net, and I'm trying to remember the, you have your motto it's, uh, that you focus on as a coach. It's you prior prioritize uh, fundamentals, finishing strong, and then having fun. Uh, talk to me a little bit about that motto and your fundamentals? Well, it's something I created a long time ago when I started coaching. I'm like, I've got to have something that, a basic motto that the kids are going to remember and I can take from one team to the next as we move on. Um, and uh, it's focus, it's four Fs, um, which the kids got in trouble in high school for because <laughs> teachers tried to figure out four F words. It's like, explain it to them. You know, it's focus <laughs> on the fundamentals to finish strong and have fun. Because um, so, no matter how hard you work at something to get better each and every time you go out, 
if you don't ultimately have fun doing it, there's no sense in doing it. Oh, absolutely, and that's so. in everything. And these are the kind of Fs that don't affect their GPA. So right. definitely, yes. you definitely want to focus on that. Well, Coach, thanks for joining us uh, in the studio here. We look forward to seeing where the bowling program goes in uh, the next bowling season. We're, we're really excited to have it start, and we're really excited about it here at Goshen College. We'll call a short timeout now, but when we return, a look at the Goshen College men's volleyball team, a squad looking for structure as they start 2024 with their third head coach in three seasons. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our environmental learning center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station, it adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Three years, three coaches for the Goshen College men's volleyball team. The squad has pushed through that adversity well so far, but it still raises the question of how much a coaching change can affect the players. While last year was tough, the introduction of Jeff Phillips as the director of volleyball has been a step in the right direction. We've had, again, three coaches in three years, so it's a little bit tough, but we've worked with Jeff, uh, with Coach Phillips, for the last six months, so... It's looking better than last year already. Uh, the team chemistry is already there, and we are uh, respecting each other and trying to build uh, the best thing that we could for the team. Phillips officially took over the team in August and quickly put a plan in place to keep the program grounded and pointed in a consistent direction for the future. So our goal this year for sure, and then moving forward, is to hopefully solidify just the program itself that they'll you know, know that, hey, when I come back next year, the same people are going to be here, and those relationships will actually be a little bit deeper, and we can sort of move forward. While the team credits their new coach for a lot of their bonding during the offseason, Phillips notes that he's not alone on the coaching staff, and having former player Wyatt Ballinger has been a big help. To have another coach, to have another person to bounce ideas off of, to to do all those types of things and, and find ways to build those relationships and, and implement the strategies we want to do, it was nice to have somebody that already had a familiarity with the program and with some of the veterans. The team missed out on the conference tournament last year, but it seems like it hasn't affected the squad much because their hope of winning big games this year is still high. Uh, we're planning to make it to conference tournament for sure and fighting to get that spot in the nationals. Yeah, I mean, I see it being very successful here and soon, um, if not this year, winning a ch conference championship the next. Reporting for Globe Sports, I'm Eduardo Alvarez Barrera. Thanks again to Eduardo for the report. The men's team is currently 2-3, and three, coming off a tight five-set loss to one of the best teams around in Judson University. We look forward to seeing their progression as the season goes along. Now let's turn to our Everett Student Athlete of the Week. That honor awarded to Mercy Chabay, a junior on the women's track and field team. Mercy had an excellent week, hitting not one but two NAIA A standards in the 3,000 meter and 4x800 relay. With the NAIA Indoor National Championships at the end of this month, the sky's the limit for Chabay and the rest of this extremely confident GC squad. Coming up, a look at what's next for Maple Leaf Athletics with a special guest host in the studios. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College, everyone's at home here. Students from around the world and down the street find inspiration and lifelong friends in our unique supportive community right here in Northern Indiana. Cutting edge academics, real world learning and small personalized classes make the difference. All surrounded by world-class culture and championship sports. Most importantly, it all leads to a record of amazing outcomes in diverse fields of study. From pre-med to social work, broadcasting to accounting, schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit.
Back on the Globe Sports Corner, we've had a great show so far detailing what's been going on in Maple Leaf Athletics. Now it's time to look ahead to what's next. Joining me now in the studio is Amelia Lee with a look at your Maple Leaf Minute. Amelia? Thanks, Mike. Tomorrow, baseball travels to Bellevue, Kentucky for a four-game series, first against Kentucky Christian University at 10, then Brescia University at 1. Friday, the morning starts with men's and women's track and field in Michigan for the GVSU Big Meet at 8.30. They're back at it again bright and early Saturday morning at 10 for day two of that event. Then baseball is back on the field to once again play Kentucky Christian University and Brescia University at 10 and 1 respectively. Women's basketball travels to Grace College at 1 as they enter their final weeks of conference play. Men's basketball also travels to Grace College to take on the number one ranked Lancers at 3. Wrapping up your weekend, the men's tennis team has a match against number 14 ranked Holy Cross College at the University of Notre Dame. As always, good luck to all teams and go Leafs. Thanks, Amelia. That'll do it for this episode of the Globe Sports Corner. To keep up with all things Globe Sports, make sure you give us a follow on all of our socials at 911theglobe on Facebook, Instagram, and the X app. While you're at it, check out the Globe radio app as well. Now there's even more ways you can stream the Globe 24-7, 365, including full coverage on all of our sports broadcasts throughout the year. And finally, you can head over to globeradio.org for more Globe updates so you don't miss a beat. That'll do it for the latest edition of the Globe Sports Corner. Check us out next week for the Globe News Report and join us again in two weeks for more exclusive coverage of Maple Leaf Athletics. For all the Globe Sports staff, I'm Mike Morell saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.